everybody. Welcome to another <laughs> ride along with goggles. And uh, today we're in just outside Pueblo, and we're heading to um, BHP or Coastline Mining, I guess, just the other side of Grand Junction. So it should be a pretty good trip. Got Ping is 389 here in the Chaparral Hotshot paint job, and got Pinga's Magnitude uh, low boy on here and uh, a 9150 Lieber uh, track hoe, I guess, and it's um, 121,000. So I stuck the uh, my big gun uh, uh, engine in here, the DD60, the 1,000 horsepower guy. So uh, see how we get on with this. I was looking at a load that was 140,000 and after we did 140,000 on this uh, couple trips with that uh, turnpike double, I thought, man, I better just amp this thing up a bit. And uh, anyway, um, yeah, go look at load. And we've got the, uh, you can see this is the trailer that's, uh, when it's empty, it's got the arch in it. And when we get this load off, you'll see it'll pop up the arch. So that'll be pretty cool. The beacon's going here headlights and let's see how we get on here oh maybe some get the parking brake off hopefully I, uh, I left that a little long 373 inch wheelbase on this thing a little bit on the extreme side. I should get this thing through here okay. Ah, uh, that uh, crane is making the camera go all over. But yeah, I haven't been down here in a while with, uh, you know, doing a bunch of Montana and uh, uh, other things. And uh, yeah, just haven't given Colorado the love it deserves. Of all the DLC so far, it's still, still my favorite. Turn right. front of this guy. <laughs> I'm going to upset him, but we got the big power here. We'll be gone in no time. Maybe. Let's see if he comes steaming up the inside here. Ultimate Bay. Boy, this uh, staircase uh, sure sticks out a long way. Gonna have to be mindful of that. It'll be interesting. Uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, I think uh, Grand Junction itself got a few turns in it that will be exciting. Especially that right-hander if, if I'm thinking of the right place. Try not to catch that railing on the street lamps. But we're not getting gone, are we? Pretty good pull.
behind us here. Oh, that guy's back there quite a ways. Not sure how we got that far out of him. Got plenty of power here, but we're not exactly uh, running like a jackrabbit here. Having to lose some momentum here on this corner. Right. Like I said in other videos, I run the trailer a little soft just so you can't drive it like a sports car. And uh, it gets a lean on it that just frightens me sometimes. Watch this. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Uh, makes me want to get in the cab and not watch that. Oh, we're doing good. Suzuki Samurai or something going the other way. Yikes! Oh, come on. That was a tight one. Oh, what are we going to do going through town here? I guess we might as well get in the slow lane. Yikes, <laughs> gotta watch that staircase there. Almost took out that road sign. paint very well. I tried painting the, uh, the new tanker and you look at this one it's like there's no primer underneath the paint on a chrome paint job. It looks terrible. Oh boy. That's tight. Yeah, it doesn't look very good. Not we scared him. <laughs> See that road over there? There's where that secret road comes up over there. See in the distance that dirt road coming up the hill. I did it. In, I um, did it in a video where I was doing hidden roads and how they get uncovered in 144 or whatever. Discovered, uncovered, whatever. 
and uh, I did three of them and that one doesn't get discovered on the map you don't get the dotted line or recognition that it was a hidden road which is kind of weird but it goes from the bottom of this hill all the way up past a cool little mine site that's had a cave in and uh, I think I I can't remember what truck I used it might have been the Marmon uh, cab over can't remember <laughs> down there in the left, no, you could, not anymore. This is where you start on the road down here at this parking lot. Right here, uh, road on the left there. inside for a little bit. scenery yeah just love this map so many cool roads on it oh. very abrupt turn
That uh, planter is pretty close to the road there. Keep right. <laughs> After 50 yards, turn right. All right. Turn right. I got about 40 miles to go. Turn right. There's that throttle hanging up again. I think I'm going to, um, oh, I've got, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it. I did in a comment, a uh, fellow was asking what my settings were for recording. And, uh, man, I'm telling you, it took a long time to figure out because, uh, you know, there's guys do videos on it and stuff. And to me, they're all crap. Like, I don't know. You know, do this and this setting and whatever. And I tried what they're suggesting. and. It was just flaky or didn't work or I don't know where all these so-called experts come from. I don't know beans about it, but I managed to finally get it sorted out. And uh, I think I'm going to do a video and share what I learned. Get over in this other lane. Anyway, uh, it's not going to be, um, you know... I don't really know how to describe what I've got, but I can show my settings and what I do to uh, publish uh, my videos with a reasonable chance of success. Yeah, it's going to be tight through here. It's not this left-hand turn up here that's got me worried. It's the uh, right-hand turn after a few corners. Keep left. 50 yards, turn left. The folks behind are giving me lots of room. Turn left. What we'll do is we're just going to hang out right about here. But yeah, so I'll show what I do and uh, the recording settings, while they're you know certainly important, the uh, 
rendering settings are even more important to be able to render a good video. Go straight. I have to let this guy go where he's turning. Yeah, okay. I might want to grab a little bit of that lane. Yeah, so, um, so my videos, just in case you aren't aware, I, you can watch them in 1440p, and if you're watching them on a mobile device, if you, let's see, on your device, when you've got the window and you're watching the video, you click on the window, it should be a, the settings, you know, the, the gear icon, if you click that, um, you can click on the video settings and then click advanced and you can select uh, as high as 1440 if your device supports it so you get pretty high definition and uh, so I was really, really not liking the look of the videos and you know, all these recommended settings and all this scuff everybody's got their answer and I don't know. <laughs> you can see my early videos. The, the early ones I was doing were pretty bad. And uh, unless you only were able to see them in low res, then you wouldn't have noticed. But if you're trying to watch them on a high resolution device, it was pretty bad. So I'll do a little video. I think after I get this one rendered, so when I render them at that, I re my uh, screen resolution is 2560 by 1440, and I uh, render the videos in that same resolution. And so, even though this is a pretty stout PC, it works pretty hard, and I don't bother doing anything else. So it takes it a couple hours to render a video, and I just walk away and. I don't try and do anything with this PC when it's rendering because it's uh, it's working pretty hard. So, oh, yeah, we got about 15 miles to go, and we're getting the uh, hurry up warning. I think we'll be all right. So anyway, um, yeah, after that renders, I think I'll I'll do a little video showing my my process for. Uh, not only the recording but the rendering. So I use OBS for the recording and uh, DaVinci Resolve for the. Uh, I'm gonna get over here. DaVinci Resolve for the rendering and uh, go straight and editing. So those uh, both are free. else is going to try and squeeze here through. Yeah. Keep left. After 50 yards, exit left ahead. Oh, we didn't hit him. <laughs> exit left ahead. I don't think I have to stop for anything here. Just a yield. Short this entrance ramp is. We call if they uh, could extend those somehow, make them a little longer. Ahead. 
I don't think I've ever been to this destination platform. Turn left. Oh, left. This is interesting. I don't think I've ever been here where we're going. I'll just take all the lanes here. Cross the rotary. First exit. Alright. Do that. Exit ahead. What do we do here? Do here? Cross the rotary. First exit. Okay, so let me see what she's saying is the first exit here. Okay. Exit ahead. After 100 yards, turn right. Turn right. Here. right. Oh, Exxon Mobile. I was thinking. Your destination. I thought we were going to the uh, BHP site, so my bad. have it. That was kind of fun. It's good to get down here in Colorado again. Gonna have to do more of that. Let's see. Okay, I'll turn it off here. Oh darn, I didn't take a photo. Ah, I'm gonna do it now guys, sorry. I'll just, uh, I'll just be a sec here. I'll grab my keyboard. Lose some of that background. There we go. A little depth of field. Sorry about that. 251 miles. Took us a while, but we were pretty good on fuel. 27,000. Yahoo. Big payday. Oh, rain. Yeah, I was seeing how the arch is back in the trailer and how the load's gone. Kind of cool. I love this trailer. And uh, the various configurations of it, like uh, uh, twin and, uh, or sorry, double, etc. It's pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for following along, guys. Appreciate it, as always. And uh, there's been a few new subscribers once again. And uh, welcome aboard, guys. And uh, if you've made it this far and haven't subscribed, Maybe consider it, and uh, if you like her, give her a thumbs up. If not, tell me why, and I can always try to do better. Take care. Catch you on the next one. Bye for now.